Hi, my name is Mike Gaben and welcome to a new KSP campaign. Yeah, I couldn't stand not playing a full career in 1.2 any longer. Now right off the bat, for fans of my other KSP series, do not worry. I have no intention of letting it go and still plan on putting out an episode once every week or so. But that campaign seems to be mired in version 1.1.3 waiting for mods to update and I have no idea how much longer that is going to take. And in the meantime, 1.2.2 is out and all of its cool features and I just couldn't wait any longer. That said, I want to differentiate this series from my previous one. One difference is that this series will focus on just a single mission at a time. Let's start by taking a look at this one. The vehicle of course is a pretty simple one being composed of only tier 1 parts. The front we have the Mark 1 command pod with the monopropellant removed to save weight. Empowering it is the RT5 Flea solid fuel booster with its thrust limiter set at 22%. This gives it a launch thrust to weight ratio of 1.39. If you'd like to learn more about thrust to weight ratios, follow the link that's in the cards there. Has three basic tail fins for stability that I did arrange like wings and a tail, though I think the amount of lift I'm getting off of the air quote wings is pretty pitiful. And finally, there are three mystery goo canisters for science. One was open at the launch pad, one for the air, and I am saving the third for opening after splashdown. And of course, the whole thing is topped off with the Mark 16 parachute that should splash down Jeb safely into the ocean. I'm sure you've also noticed the difference in editing. I'm enjoying more and more the process of editing, and this seems a good vehicle to allow me to push myself further and to play with the camera tools mod. And speaking about mods, I've stripped out almost all the mods that you've seen me use in my other series. This game is going to be very close to vanilla, with no mods changing any of the central gameplay element elements, or adding anything but just a few trivial parts. The mods I do have focus on beautification and a few small interface add-ons. As for the difficulty, I'm playing the game on moderate. My two sons always tell me that video games should always be played on the second to hardest difficulty. And I've turned on communication and plasma blackouts, as well as G4 stress on both the parts and the Kerbals. As you can see, this mission actually is pretty close to coming to an end. Uh, I had sort of the standard two contracts you get at the beginning to launch a vehicle and to gather some science from Kerbin. And I made sure at the beginning to gather a crew report, an EVA report, and one of those goo canisters from the launch pad. You saw me gather a goo and a crew report uh, at mid-flight. And now all we have to do is wait until splashdown and we're going to gather a final set of reports out here in the water. Just realizing that Jeb should have done an EVA right now. Oh no, we can't do EVAs right now. I forgot. I still have to update the astronaut complex. Oh, the things you forget. So no, I'm pretty much stuck with what I got here. All right, we're gonna tilt ourselves a bit forward so that the vessel will be upright while it's floating in the water. And there we go, splash down. Lost the tail fins, those things really are fragile, but frankly, I don't care. So there we go. That's the last of the mystery goos. We'll get uh, Jeb out. He'll collect the science from the uh, crew cabin, the capsule, thus freeing up space for another crew report. Of course he will take an EVA report from the water and then one last crew report. I'm having trouble finding it for some reason. There we go. And that's it. We have exhausted the science that we can collect. All that's left now is to recover and take a look at what we have earned. Okay, so that earned us 36 science, and with that I unlocked basic rocketry and engineering 101. Not really much of a choice here.
This gives me the first liquid fuel engine, bigger SRBs, a stack decoupler, a thermometer for more science, and my first communication antennas. And then I had a choice of one of the tier threes, and I went with general rocketry for the better LFO engine and tank and the big BACC SRB. I want to get, I want to make my next mission about getting into space. We also uh, completed our two contracts of getting scientific data from Kerbin and launching our first vessel. And we had a number of world firsts. First EVA, first launch, splashed down in the ocean, recovered our first crew, uh, first experiments. We also set some records. We set speed records of 25 meters per second, 80, and 250 meters per second. Altitude records of 500 and 2,000 meters, and distant records of 1,000 and 3,000 meters. So with everything that we earned from all of that, we now have a total funds of 123,651, which we're going to have to put towards our next mission. And I hope that you're enjoying this new series format. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.